Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, my English Bulldog puppy is going to be picking out every single makeup item that I use on this face today. My goal in doing this, I tried to pick a variation of products, some really random, some things I just haven't used in a long time, some that are just not really my favorite that I kind of wanted to see what would happen if I mixed them together. And so this is what we got. If you guys want to check it out, then just keep watching. Okay, ready? Come here, Barbie! Come get one! No, Come get it, look! Oh, Tula! Oh, oh Maybelline! <laughs> Which one? Oh, butter bronzer. Good pick. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, these are the same brand, but one is black and waterproof and one is brown. Let's see which one he picks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Oh, oh, I like it. Look, which one do you want? Nice perversion, that's a good pick. Which one do you want? Oh. I got it. Which one do you want? Nice. Which one do you want? I guess Morphe. <laughs> such a mess this is like what we get for quarantining and not washing your hair because it's healthy hunter thinks because i don't wash my hair that i don't shower i've actually heard other people thinking that too i don't get where people get that from but it's not a real thing i shower every single day yeah but you're not washing your hair right it's good for your hair okay so to start we're going to use tula's face filter blurring primer thinking of you okay Good luck. Get out. Let your light shine. Go. Okay. Come on. <laughs> I just said you need something. Can you please open the door? Okay, yeah. So like I was saying, I've been using this for several months now. I really just love it. I've been trying to ration it out because I don't want it to be gone. And they were, I think they were out of stock, like, I want to say a few weeks ago. And so I've been like really trying not to use too much but you can see it kind of comes out in this like white consistency with little beads and it actually has some coloration um as it goes on your skin and i think it's awesome like even if you're just wearing it and nothing else like it's so pretty it's a little shimmer it's not even shimmer it's just like a glow and it adds a little little bit of pigmentation to your skin so i really enjoy it So you can see it just adds like a little something to your skin, nothing crazy and there's no real coverage, but it is just like a pretty glisten. Not even a glisten, I feel like glisten is more shiny. Just a glow, just an inner glow. Okay, so next we are going to use Gord picked out Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is just an oldie but a goodie. I use this in high school. I still use it every once in a while. I found a few more that I like a little bit better, but I always, recommend this one usually first to people who are just like so lost and confused about foundations because they have such a wide one they have such a wide color range in their mattes and in their dewies and it does help because they have both matte and dewy it also helps kind of even out your skin tone depending on if you have more oily skin or more dry skin 
So I always go to this first um, in recommending to people, but I haven't put this on my skin in a very long time. So here we go. I don't even know if this color is gonna work. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, it's probably pretty good. Okay, next I have butter bronzer. This is like my go-to. I think I only own actually two bronzers, like at all. And I have just stuck with this one since I found it earlier this past summer and I just really love it. It has great pigmentation and I don't really have a need to go grab another one. I do have that Hula bronzer that was also in the mix and that is a little mini one just because I want to try it out and it's great. It's extremely pigmented but I just don't want to spend the money on it. This is a drugstore that works great. Okay, so Gorb did pick the Morphe setting spray. I'm actually going to use this at the end, but also right now, just to kind of set my face a little bit right before I put highlight on. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and put highlight on. This one is not my favorite. It's a very, very like, it's really gold and it's just not really my color. It says champagne on it. That's the color, but it's definitely not what I would call a champagne. It smells weird. I think it's just very gold for my skin tone. I feel like this would be a really pretty color on like a deeper skin tone, but I don't know. I just like never love it. It's got great pigmentation. It just doesn't have like the color to me. It like isn't great on my skin, but we're using it today. I think we're done. Okay, so next we're gonna do brows and Gore picked the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline, the Palmade, and I have used this for a while and I love it. I kind of do like a mixture right now. I'm doing like the pencil and then I'm also going back and kind of doing like the inside with this, but we're gonna just do the whole brow with this today. Very snatched as the kids say it. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't put concealer on my life. I haven't been wearing concealer lately, can you tell? I'm just gonna go in a little bit to get this under coverage closer to my under eye. I will be going in with e.l.f.'s 16 hour camo concealer. This is a really good kind. It does dry pretty quickly, but it's really good on coverage. All right, fix her right up. Put a little highlight back over top of where I just concealed and we're good to go. Next, I'm gonna be going into Morphe's 25B Bronzed Mocha Palette. This is like one of my, still one of my favorite palettes. I constantly go into this palette because of just the colors, they're so pretty. It's just like the rich mochas, um, I'm all about it. So I'm going to probably, oh, I don't know, we can get creative here. So Gore picked a Red Vice lip, so. What are we gonna do here? I might actually go into this, it caught my eye. So we might try this as a base and build the darker, deeper browns into it, but that's what I'm gonna start with in my crease. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into, I just used this one over here. I think I'm gonna go into this one. I have a little bit of a shimmer, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna put that into the outer corner of my eye. I will say I am pretty disappointed in the shimmer glitters in this palette. It's, they're really not good. Um, and I've tried like everything with my finger, with a brush, spraying it on, like it just doesn't really work. But since it's all I have to work with, I'm gonna try to do it. I think I'm gonna go in with this one with my finger and we're gonna try to do some shimmer. Oh, I could do the gold, let's have gold. No, too much gold, mm -mm, can't do it, okay. I don't know if you can tell it. You just can't really see it very well. I think that's some weird colors going on here. Yeah, this glitter looks more like a rose gold and then my highlight is like a true, true yellow gold. So that's not really what I would have done, but it's all I have to work with. Wow, now I'm wondering if that gold gold would have been better, but 
two right now. Okay, I'm going to do black liquid liner on the top. I'm also gonna actually go back and put some of that brown that I put in my crease under my eye. And then I'm gonna use Urban Decay, my favorite. I'm not gonna load the mascara on to my lashes just because I am gonna put falsies on. While my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this red lipstick. I haven't worn red since like Thanksgiving, I think. I'm more like a very pink nude kind of girl. I can't even remember what these are. Oh, they're Ardell. <laughs> I didn't read it. These are Naked Lashes 422, and I love these. I like how separated they are, so they look a little more natural, not just like a ton of volume straight on your eyes. Oh my goodness, lashes take so long. And back to Morphe. I think we're done. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already, be subscribed to my channel. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.